Hi everyone, my name is Moni. And I'm Naveen from Before You Play. And today we're going to be doing a playthrough of a game that is currently on Kickstarter called Cascadito. Yes, this game is designed by Reiner Knizia. The art is done by Ian O'Toole and it's published by Bitewing Games who are helping sponsor this playthrough. Now this game is a roll and write. It's a roll and write based off of another game called Cascadero, which is one that we've covered earlier. If you are interested in that game, there's a link up here as well as in the description down below. And both games are actually a part of the same Kickstarter. Both games are also based off of the same theme. And so in this game, the kingdom is a bit shattered. And a little so, ruined. Yeah, and so Cascadero, the, the new ruler, is trying to gather all the ministers to try to help bring the kingdom together. Now this roll and write includes four different sheets with slightly different rule sets. And so I believe thematically this is supposed to be stuff that happens once the uh, kingdom is united. Mm -hmm. So we're going to be battling bandits, we're going to be building a river, and at the end of the day we're just trying to score the most amount of points. And so as per usual, we are going to start with a quick teach of the game and then go straight into our two player playthrough. So if you'd like to jump around, we'll include timestamps in the description below. Now we do have to mention this of course is a prototype copy of the game, so things are subject to change in the future. If you are interested in the campaign, this is going to be linked in the description down down below, which you can check out. And lastly, if you like these kind of videos and you want to see more in the future, please consider subscribing. And with that, we are ready to begin. So if you'd please direct your attention to the center of the table, we're all set up here for a two-player game of Cascadito. Welcome to the slightly united towns. Slightly <laughs> united. We are all playing on two. So everybody has to be playing on the same exact board. Yes. Now I just want to make a note that we are going to be playing on the dry erase player boards just so it's easier for everyone to see. But uh, I believe this is going to be an optional add-on during the Kickstarter as the base game comes with uh, physical paper sheets. Mm -hmm. Now when you play this game, it is recommended that you start with sheet number one and then go in chronological order because each sheet sort of builds upon the last one. Mm -hmm. And so today we are going to be playing on sheet number two and this adds a white uh, success track as well as bandits. And that'll all make sense later. Now if you're not familiar with Cascadero, what we're pretty much doing in this game is we're trying to unite the various towns. In Cascadero, we were doing so by sending out our envoy meeples in order to try to connect them. Mm -hmm. In this game, we are going to be drafting dice and crossing off the empty hexes that are in between the towns. And so as you can see, the map here is made up of various colored spaces and those represent the different towns in this, this land. Right. The towns actually represent different aspects of the kingdom. For example, the blue are mining towns, the yellow are agriculture, etc. And each player actually represents a different minister who specializes in one of these four. Starting with a start player, each player is going to mark off one of the uh, castles at the very top here that represents which minister you are playing as. I guess you'll be a first player then. So yeah. I will be uh, <laughs> I will be the agriculturist minister. There we go. There you go. The way that the game works is whoever goes first is going to roll all six of these dice. The die faces represent the various towns on the map, and the top left-hand corner of each sheet tells you which die faces are forbidden. And so in this specific scenario, it is just the black uh, sides of the dice. At this point, any forbidden dice get removed from the dice tray, and then now, starting with whoever rolled the dice, on your turn, you choose a die, and then you're going to mark off an empty field that is adjacent to a town of that color. So in this example, because I took the purple die, I can mark off any field that is neighboring a purple town. So let's just say I mark that off. And once you're done marking off a space, that typically ends your turn. But sometimes you might activate what's called town scoring. And so let's just say it goes to Naveen's turn and he drafts this orange die and now it's back to me. If I were to choose a white die and say cross off this space on my board, I would trigger town scoring because two things are now true. The first thing is that the space that I just marked off is part of a group. And so in this game, a group is two or more spaces that are all connected. And the other thing is that the space that I just marked off is now adjacent to a town that this group was not adjacent to before. And so in marking off this space, even though it's adjacent to the purple town as well, the group that it's a part of was already adjacent to the purple town via this first marking. Mm -hmm. And so me placing that marking there will only activate the white town scoring. Right, because you have a group of two yes. and nobody was next to the white. Right. Now, anytime you score for a town, you're just going to mark off the bottom most available space in its success track. And so you'll notice that the five different tracks here also show these different bonuses. Anytime you cross off a bonus, Bonus, then you get to take that uh, bonus immediately. And they're fairly straightforward. Anytime you mark off a space with the multicolored square, that basically allows you to cross off an additional space on one of the five success tracks of your choice. 
The other type of bonus, which is this one, allows you to immediately cross off an empty field of your choice that's on the board. And going back to the map, even though I've scored this town, I can still score it again in the future. I just have to connect it with a different group. Mm -hmm. So this group cannot score this town again. So if in the future you created a group coming maybe from the north and reconnecting to this education town, you yes. would score again. Right. Now, some of the maps also feature a river, and uh, some of them implement the river differently. The way that the river works here is it is at the bottom of our player boards. And so when choosing a die, you can always choose to cross off the leftmost available space on the river instead of crossing off one on the map. The river will also get you these immediate bonuses, and at the end of the game, you'll get points equal to whichever threshold you reached. In addition, our specific mat also features bandits, because thematically, we are now trying to protect the kingdom from these bandits. And each bandit is represented by these skull symbols that are on the map. And so each time you cross off a space that has a skull symbol on it, you also get to cross off the bottom most available space on the bandit track. And you'll also score points at the end of the game, depending on how far up this track you were able to reach. And the last thing that you'll also see in Cascadero is in this game, there are achievements and they're all at the top of your player sheet. There are two different kind of achievements. The ones at the very top here uh, will get you five points for um, achieving them, <laughs> but uh, only the first player to be able to uh, reach any of these objectives actually gets to score it. And they're gonna be stuff like crossing off all five spots on the first achievement row, marked by this green uh, floor de lis banner mm -hmm. on all five tracks. Or you want to have reached the very topmost row of either the education track for this objective or your own track for that objective. There's also an achievement for reaching the 10 spot on the river. There's also one for crossing off the bandit that's on the sixth spot. And this last one here wants you to be the first person to have four separate distinct groups on your map. So this would count as one, which means I would have to make three more. So it kind of encourages you to try to build out kind of apart from each other. Right. But once that's been achieved, then you can choose to combine them. And you may want to do so because the other five achievements, which are down here, reward you for connecting three of the same colored town. And they have to be connected via one contiguous group. These are friendly in the sense that everybody can achieve these. But once you do, it basically just gets you a bump up bonus. This is not uh, for points. Mm -hmm. Now, once either all of the topmost objectives have been completed or one person completes all of the bottom objectives here, then that ends the game immediately. At that point, each player will add up their total points for all five of the success tracks, depending on how far up uh, the track they were able to go. On this specific sheet, we will also score points for our bandit track as well as our river. And at that point, whoever has the most points wins. So that is essentially how you play Cascadito. We're just gonna get cleaned up a little bit and then we'll get started with our playthrough. Okay, we are ready to go. Monique has erased her sheet. Yes. We have decided, though, that she has not ordained the first player. We are <laughs> going to Rochambeau for it. Are you ready? Uh, yes. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay. It's, no, it's it is you. So I get so, the blue castle. Yes, that means Naveen gets the blue castle. Uh, in higher player counts, you go around the table and everybody crosses off the next available castle mm -hmm. in uh, color order right. because this is going to be the tiebreaker. So that's why that's important. The other thing that we didn't mention is the significance of you having a, uh, a color castle, right? Mm -hmm. If you're able to reach the very top of your own color success track, then if you notice here, typically you'll only get 10 points, but for your own success track, you'll get 15. So it's worth five more points than usual. Okay, the thing I have to do to start this game off is take all six dice and we're gonna shuffle them. So <laughs> shuffle, shuffle them. them. Wait a second, I mean roll them. <laughs> That's it. That's new. Okay, so we have one forbidden die, which yes. is the black one. Everything else is in play. By the way, if you are playing on the one side, which yeah. is then there is no uh, education track. You would actually remove the white. Yes, that is for the number one player sheet. Mm -hmm. So the die I'm going to draft is going to be this orange one. And okay. I will not be uh, coloring a river, but I'm going to mark this one. So there's a bandit next to this orange. Uh -huh. I think I want to mark them and go up on this bandit track because nice. that is my creed. <laughs> to wipe out all the bandits. All right, well, back to me. Um, this map is definitely different from the player one sheet yeah. because some of the towns are closer to others, which makes it a little bit difficult strategically to try to figure out how to score them. Yes. All right, well, I'm going to take the blue die. My blue. Yes, and I too shall cross off a bandit. So I'm gonna go right there. Okay. It's a bandit spot. And I mark off the first space on my track as well. All right. Wait, actually, before you take your turn, mm -hmm. <laughs> can I change that? Okay. My, my marker was kind of 
weird anyway. We're using different markers because uh -huh. this is a prototype. Sure. I think I'm going to start here instead. So I'm not actually going to go on a bandit zone. I'm going to go uh, right there. Okay. Well, seeing that one of our achievements is to try to make as many groups as possible, I see an opportunity to do so. So I'm going to okay. take this yellow and I'm going to mark it here. So we are going to have... Um, town scoring? Town scoring, yeah. So now we have a group that's formed that's uh -huh. going into a town yes. that had no member of that group already touching that town. Right. There's no, none of the spaces crossed off in that group are adjacent to the town that you are now adjacent to, if that Correct. makes sense. Yeah. So the yellow one, <laughs> essentially. Yellow one. So I'm going to mark this. Nice. Just like that. Congratulations. Thank you. Well, then I'm going to get started on the uh, white success track, which is technically education. This mm -hmm. is what the king is uh, responsible for. Cascadero. Right. I'm going to go ahead and cross off this spot. It is adjacent to that white town. Okay. And now I have formed a uh, group for town scoring as well. Mm -hmm. So this is going to go up the white track like that. Okay. So there is only one die left. Yes. So I'm going to take it. Uh -huh. But I'm going to use it for river. So oh, okay. I'm going I'm to put it up here and yes. then I'm going to mark the river track down here. I don't want to use it for the orange right now. All right. Well, that's that. So once all of the dice have been taken at the start of the next player's turn, then they roll the dice and then play continues First this way, dibs. essentially. Yeah. Thank you. Here we go. Shuffling the dice. Okay. One <laughs> forbidden die. There we go. Okay. Well, seeing as there's only one purple, I'm going to take it and... I'm going to mark off this spot right here. It crosses off a bandit, and it's next to that uh, town. So I'm going to cross off the bandit here. And this is going to activate town scoring because it is the first time that something in that group is adjacent to the purple mm -hmm. town. So the, here we go. All right. Back to you. Very good. I'm going to go ahead and draft the orange. And we're going to go down to the bottom right over here. And I'm going to mark this little spot off. Okay. Well, I might as well take blue, seeing as there are two yellow over there. Okay. And I'm going to start somewhere else. I think I'm just going to go all the way up here uh, so I can cross off this bandit. It does not trigger any uh, town scoring, but I do go up the bandit track, so that's nice. Two bandits. Well, seeing that the river is going to get me a bonus mm -hmm. and I'm not too cuckoo for the yellows, <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and use this, but I'm going to use it on the river, which gets me a wild. Okay. Because that's what the benefit is that's marking there. So yep. I'm going to go ahead and mark that. And then with that, uh, I need to get up this blue track because I am, uh, of course, of the mining people. So <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and mark off this one, which also has a bandit below it. Okay. So we're going to do that right there. Because there's a bandit, we are going to cross off a bandit. Wow, look and at you. now we have uh, town scoring because we formed a group that's going into this blue with at least two or more. Okay. So let's go ahead and mark that. All right. Wow. You ping ponged a lot there. Uh, you know, I got to do it. <laughs> well, then I don't have a choice. I have to take this die. It is yellow, which is actually not bad. I'm going to go right here. So this is the thing that's sort of unique about the uh, second sheet, at least as compared to the first one. Yeah. Um, you now have these towns that are only connected by one space. One away. Which makes the town scoring a bit more complicated. But I will go here since I've already scored for uh, purple with this group anyway. Okay. And now this is the first time I am neighboring yellow with that group. So I do some town scoring. Which you definitely need just going because up there. you are the agriculturalist. That's right. I would love to finish my, my yellow track. Yeah. So. Well, there is no dice left, so it looks like I get first dibs. There you go. Let's shuffle okay. the dice. Uh, I hope this is not a one. Neat oh thing. boy, look at That's that. A lot of a bunch purple. Of pink. A purple. Well, seeing as I get first dibs and uh, blue is the only thing that is unique, <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and take blue. No. It does a couple another double whammy here, so I'm gonna okay. cross off this spot here, mm -hmm. which is a bandit spot. So let's go ahead and mark off my third bandit. So I'm gonna score now for bandits at the end of the game. Nice. Minimum three. Minimum three. Uh, I have now formed a group going into this blue town, so we are gonna go ahead and score for the towns. There wow. we go. Very good. So that's the thing that's sort of interesting about this map, because I know I can count on getting two purple die faces, and I've already sort of connected to this town. If I just keep going around it, I can trigger these towns each time because mm -hmm. it's all going to be part of one contiguous group. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's true. Yeah. yeah I don't, so yeah. I'm going to take this, and I'm just going to do exactly that because it does help with all of the uh, the achievements, mm -hmm. I suppose. So I'll go there and I will cross off this spot here. It's still adjacent to a purple town and it is now connecting the contiguous group to orange. So I will go up one there. Back to you. Yeah, that was a good move. 
All right, um, I'm, yeah, okay, that's pretty good. I'm gonna take purple and I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna tuck into the bottom left corner here. Okay. No scoring, but we are hopefully setting up for something else. All right, I'm just gonna keep going. <laughs> so there's my purple and I'm gonna go over here. It is now attached to blue. And so I will go up once on blue. Look at you. Now this is two blue towns that I've been able to connect all via one contiguous group. If I get a third, then I can cross off that achievement. Right. And well, with this purple, uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and, and create one right here. Okay. So now there was nothing uh, connected to this yellow. I've created a group going into it. So we are going to move up on this track. Nice. I, I'm a very two track kind of person in this <laughs> game, it looks like. Do you track mine? Two tracks for me. <laughs> okay, well, at least go as far as you can up both. Right. At the very I'm least, going to right? The max. All right, well, it is back to me. I'm going to re roll these dice. Oops, sorry. I hope I don't erase anything. No worries. Here we go. Ah, nothing. nothing. Forbidden. No forbidden dice. Well, seeing as there's only one yellow, mm -hmm. I guess I'll take it. And I am going to go up here because it helps get me closer to other things, I guess. It scores your yellow. And it does score my yellow. So I'm gonna go here. This is a different group, and it is now connected to that yellow town, which goes uh, gets me one bump up there. All right. Ooh, how do I feel? What do, do I feel? do? So I'm gonna draft the blue, because I can score blue if I do this. So okay. I'm gonna take that. Uh, we're gonna mark this one here. Mm -hmm. So we go into this town. We're scoring this town a second time, because it's a separate group from this one here. Okay. So because of that, now I'm gonna mark this bonus here on my blue track, which means I get to basically take another turn without drafting a die. Nice. So I'm gonna go ahead like and do that. that. You can go anywhere. Anywhere. Maybe anywhere. And where I would like to go is this bandit spot right over here next to purple. So I'm gonna mark that. And then I'm going to mark my fourth bandit. You are two away from reaching I the achievement. Am. Those wild placements are the perfect time to sort of set up your next move. Yeah. Well, I am going to take the white. Okay. So that is going to let me cross off here. So I'm going to cross off here because it's adjacent to this white town and it is connected to this other group. So I'm going to go up on white. This will get me the bonus that lets me cross off something else on my uh, board, mm -hmm. which might as well be yellow yeah. because it'll give me another bonus here. And that's just like what Naveen did, this sweet, sweet, wild placement on the board. So I'm going to use it to cross off this yellow. Instead of going all the way around this pink town, I'm going to go this way so that I can be at least closer to the orange town. Nice. And this is my first time being uh, neighbors to yellow. So and I'm going to go ahead and score that as well. You have to be aware you've connected two of potentially three yellow towns. Uh, because, of course, you want to get three so that you can cross this bonus off eventually. That's right. That means I need to be able to connect these Find two Find a way that way. Eventually. But that'll make it really difficult for me to score that. So, Naveen, that might be your achievement <laughs> to do. There's another achievement wink. I'm cooking up right now wink. on okay. this turn. Okay. Um, by the way, connection, you never consider the actual town itself as a connection or a link. Right. So if I was trying to get this one and connect through here to here, I would have to actually be on the hexes yeah. and not actually connect count this uh, as a connection here. I'd have to go around somehow. Right. So with that in mind, I will not be trying to connect the blue towns. <laughs> okay. Um, I do, however, uh -huh. see the ability to get an achievement if I take this particular die. So Ooh. purple, uh, because I have this uh, right here, I'm going to mark this yellow. So now we have connected a new group to a new town. Okay. Uh, so um, we have two things that are going to happen here. I'm going to cross this off, which gets me another turn. Uh -huh. But before I place my new bonus, I have completed this achievement here. <gasps> you did it. You want four separate distinct groups that yeah. have at least two. So I divided and conquered. So I went <laughs> one, two, three, which is what I just created, and four right there. All right. So I am going to mark this box here, and Monique has to cross out or mark in her little key lock. Yeah, the lock. So she's locked out of that. So I know that I can no longer score uh, that achievement. Very mm -hmm. good. Okay, so now I get an extra placement. Yes. Uh, I really like what you've been doing with this place over here. So I'm, I think I'm going to do something very similar. I'm going to go and, and mark this spot here. Now I've connected in to this orange. Okay. So I'm going to cross off my very first orange box. Nice. There this is the product of uh, globalization, mm -hmm. you know. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we are feeding yeah. off each other's ideas. Ah, I like what you've done. <laughs> All right. So then I am going to take the orange die. I thought you were for sure going to take it and leave me with uh, no option. Why is that? Um, oh, no option, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to keep going this way because I now am going on a tour, I guess, and I've come upon this orange town, so I'm gonna score it and go up one there. All well, right. Well, well, well. Back to you. 
Well, purple's good for me because it can continue this kind of saga of going down this way. So I will take purple. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna mark off this one. So I'm really just surrounding this thing over here. So I'm gonna mark this one, connecting a new group into town B. Oh, it's B, what am I saying? B is blue, blue, <laughs> oh, there we go. And so uh, we're gonna me. go there. This town Y, town yeah. O. Yikes. The thing that's interesting though, is even though I'm able to kind of go around these towns here, that's, these are not where the bandits are. No. So I am not doing myself any favors um, in terms of the bandit track. They are all sort of localized on the outskirts. All right, so it's back to me. Okay. I'm going to re-roll these dice. So here we go. Let's see what we got. Two of the forbidden type. The forbidden fruit. All right. Oh no, these are not the colors I wanted. <laughs> so I will just take yellow okay. and uh, start working on my river because I have done no work for along this river, I guess. Mm. You know what? I'm close to this bandit achievement. Let's take the orange mm -hmm. and just unnecessarily go south so I can just knock out that little bandit. So I'm at five bandits total. If I get one more, I'll get that achievement. The achievement. Yes. Okay. I will take the blue. Okay. <laughs> and uh, instead, I'm going to cross off my river. So that does give me a wild placement, which is nice because I really wanted purple to show and it didn't. So mm. I'm going to force my way um, next to a purple town. So this is now connected to this purple town. I'm going to uh, go up on my success track. All right. You know what, if I take this blue and turn it into a river, mm -hmm. it'll get me five points at the end of the game. I don't get any bonus, but I'd like to get pushing on this river a little bit more. That's fair. I mean, five points is five points, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so it is back to me again. Again. And I dips. can't tell, I think we might be at least a third of the way. Yeah, something through? like that, maybe. Something like that. It'll, it'll uh, ramp up fast at the end there. Okay. More forbiddens. More forbiddens. Okay, two out. No purple again. But I do have the opportunity to score this blue before I connect my two groups. Nice. So uh, I'm going to mark off this spot. And even though I've scored it once already, this d other group is still not connected to that one. So I'm able to score for that blue town. So there, there we go. go. That was good. I'm going to take this white mm -hmm. uh, and then I'm going to place that right here. So now we have this group coming in, connecting to my very first education. So let's ah, go ahead and mark that. Nice. Well, I don't have a choice, so I'm going to take orange. And I think, I think I'm going to mark off another group because I need to, to work a little bit harder on these bandits. So I'm going to go over here. This is adjacent to this orange town, and I can cross off a bandit. So, so now I'm scoring three points. How many bandits total you have? Four? Uh, three. Three. <laughs> Three to five, okay. All right, so I am actually going to use this to river because okay. I'd like to push up the river uh, and I get to, to take a bonus of my choice. So let's go ahead and mark that, that off. That is so nice. And with that, I'm actually going to be marking off this spot here mm -hmm. so that I can connect to this white uh, education down here because this is going to create a little chain. So because it's a new one going in, I'm yeah. going to mark off this. That's one. Okay. Uh, that symbolizes me I can mark off any other one. So I'm going to mark off my blue, which means I get to do it again one oh, more time. You're so high up on your track. I got to keep it going. And you know what? I'm, I'm kind of stalling out here. I, I, I'm thinking I'm going to lose my opportunity to get up on this blue track. So I'm just going to go ahead and mark another blue. I really want to get the 15 points at the end. Okay. So then it's back to me. But before I roll the dice, I just saw something uh -oh. that I failed to realize on my last turn. Did it affect my turn at all? No, because we are so separate in terms of our boards. Okay. Um, this is just, just affecting my board. So I think I've connected three blue towns along this, this, uh, you did. Yeah. this group here. There it is. So it's one, two, and three. And I okay. think that was the last marking that I placed, which means I get the bonus. And this is not going to score me any points at the end of the game, but it does let me go up uh, one of the tracks which I guess I should just go up on this track sure. because it causes a chain reaction of me now being able to go up again. So I'll use that to just go up on blue, okay. <laughs> which lets me cross off something on my board. And I'm just gonna cross off this last spot here because this will connect my two groups now. Mm. Now this is one large group, except for this one. Of so yellows, I guess I have, is it? Huh? Is it of yellows or what is it? It's just one large group. Oh, okay, but I general. think you connected all your yellows. I think I did, I connected yeah. three yellows now. Yeah. So this is gonna do this. I'm so sorry, this should have all been done last turn, <laughs> which now gets me another bump up on a track, which I'll use to just go up on this track, which lets me cross off something on my map. Um, this is all last turn, by the way. I'm sorry. Before rolling your dice. Which I think I'll use to go here. So that scores this purple town, because I'm now connected to it, uh -huh. which lets me cross off this, which lets me cross off another thing, which I think I'll use to connect the other, uh, 
solo <laughs> person here um, to the white town. Nice. So this is now its own group. And I'm going to score for the white, which lets me go up one. And now I've achieved this achievement. Uh, I have all five tracks reaching the first achievement banner. Ah, uh, nice. Oh my god. What gosh. a last turn. I'm so turn. sorry that I did not catch that sooner. Nice, nice, nice. So I'm locked out of that one. I think doing that has connected three purple towns. One, <laughs> two, three. I did. So this game is going to end sooner than we think because um, the game ends as soon as either all the achievements on top have been completed or mm -hmm. one person has achieved all the five achievements below that. Oh, boy. And I have now done the purple towns. So I'm going to do that, which lets me go up on a track, <laughs> which I'm going to use to just go off yellow. Uh, now knowing that the game isn't going to last forever. Okay. So, okay, I think that's everything. If you've caught anything that I'm missing, I'm sorry. I, <laughs> I failed at catching that the first time, so I'm going to roll these dice. And you still have a turn. I yeah. still have a turn. Wow. How exciting. <laughs> okay, here we go. One Whoa. forbidden, lots of blue. Okay, I have a turn, but not many options. I'm just going to go ahead and take one of the blue dice and go down this way so I can cross off a bandit. Bandit. So now I'm at four. Four bandits. Yeah. Well, I, I desperately needed a blue in order to score up my blue track again, so okay. I'm going to go ahead and take that. I'm going to mark this one next to it. So now we have uh, this all happening here. So I have a new group going into this blue. Okay. So I'm going to mark that right there. Nice. Oh, you're almost there. I'm almost there. That's an achievement. One more away. Yeah. All right, I'm going to take the other blue die, and I'm going to progress up my river because I was just one space away from scoring five points. It was either five points or nothing. Oh, none, yeah. So... You might as well. Yeah. So I'm going to take this purple, and I'm just going to mark off this spot here. Okay. Oh, my gosh. Let me do that. There we go. Which leaves me with this, and I'm just going to continue up the river because this gets me a wild uh, cross-off. And I think I'm going to try to continue this group. And so it's already adjacent to the orange town. So if I just continue upwards, mm. then I can score the yellow town. Because it's the first time it's touching Ooh, that. We're, oh. And that'll push me up one. <gasps> we're tied, tied, tied. We're so close. All right. Hopefully. I just need to not not roll a blue. You need a blue? I need a blue. Oh, <laughs> one lone one. blue. Wow. Someone heard your call. Oh, man. Because this is an achievement. <laughs> I'm taking blue for sure. Because... Okay. So my last move was a setup move. Yeah. This is the only other way to get into this blue town to score it. Okay, you better mark the right <laughs> The circle. right one. So it's going to be <laughs> this one right here because yeah. this one would be part of this group. This one would be part of that group. Yeah. So it has to be this one. Right. This was a two-step process to get here. Okay. So it would have not paid off had I uh, not been successful. So uh, I'm going to score the town. I get to the very top here. So not only am I going to get 15 points at the end of the game. Sorry, I'm making a little mistake there. But uh, because I am the first one to get the top of yeah. my specific uh, faction castle, I also get to mark this one off. Yeah, and I have to mark off pretty the good. Lock. Nice. Good yeah. job. Ugh. I needed that. Ah. Badly, 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 what badly. What a race. All right. I'm going to take the lone yellow. Ah. I wanted the yellow. <laughs> and I'm going to use it to connect my groups because I guess the only point in not connecting this group now is if I wanted to rescore something that the larger group was connected to mm -hmm. via this. But I don't actually think it's really possible, at least for these towns over here. So I'm going to use it, and I'm going to mark off this field here that's adjacent to that yellow town, and now it's all connected. So I have one large group that are uh, riding along <laughs> the edge of the countryside uh, again. And so I think the only thing that this does is it now connects uh, three orange towns. Okay. So one, two, so three. So you... Can end the game in the, oh boy. I'm gonna use that to just go up to the top of my track. Right. So I at least get the 15 points. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because this is gonna be a swing, if not, right? Because mm -hmm. Naveen now has two, two achievements. achievements. I have one, yeah. In order for me to end the game via these achievements, I need to complete this last one, which requires me to connect four white towns. Oh, And okay. right now, I think I've only connected two, two. of them. Yeah. This one and that one. Well, that makes I am feel better. close, I'm nearby this. Yeah. And I'm also near ish to that so that it's seems not like a lot of dice that far uh, off <laughs> <laughs> so Just i'm gonna so take know. orange and we are gonna river okay so we're gonna go up the river i'm one away from that achievement all right after you i'll take an orange and i'm actually going to use it so i'm gonna connect uh my group to this orange town solid, over here solid so i will go up one 
on the orange track. And again, every time you progress up one you space, it's yeah. one more point. Yeah, so. I'm not doing too good at points there. I'm trying to get it other ways. Okay. Uh, well, see, all my oranges are not very good. So I'm going to have... <laughs> they can they, hear you. <laughs> they, they know. Yeah. They're not good. You're supposed to unite the kingdom, Naveen. No, 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 no. We're in disarray. <laughs> so I am going to... Well, we're going we're gonna to escape on the river. Okay. So because of this, I'm taking it as river. Wait, where are you at on that? I am now on 10. <gasps> I have achieved. Oh, no. It is one of the achievements in this game, in uh, this particular sheet and sheet two. So once it's a race to the 10, so it's going to be 10 points at the game. Plus, I am the first one to do it, so I'm going to get that little achievement at the end. Very good. So did you mark off your lock? You I did. did. Yeah. So the only achievements at the top that are available are crossing off the sixth bandit, which you're really close to. Don't, yeah, don't jinx me. And going up to the very top of the <laughs> education track, which neither That's of us are not very close happen. to. Yeah. yeah. All right, here we go. Okay. I'm going to re-roll these. I don't even know what color I need. Maybe white? White, okay. Let's see. No, no white. white. No white. No. <laughs> Two forbidden dice. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm going to take the orange die because this is bringing me closer to these uh, white towns. Okay. And it'll also, if I mark off this area, I believe this should trigger blue town scoring. Okay. Because now this group is connected to blue. So I'm just going to go up. One there. It's another point. Yeah. You know what? I think I'm gonna have to river here because okay. it's the only way I can get this bandit. Uh, none of my bandits are next to blues or purples. Mm -hmm. So uh, let's go ahead and just take the purple. Mm -hmm. And then uh, what I'm gonna do is cross off the river. So now I get a wild move. And so, so I'm gonna mark off this bandit here, which lets me get to the <laughs> sixth bandit of an achievement. So I have, uh, I'm ridding the land of the bandits. You did. I'm you are. I'm doing the, the work. By the way, I need to cross in my my ship one on the... You have the safer land, truly. Yeah. I'm just going and hacking and slashing. <laughs> That's me. All right. Well, uh, I'm going to take one of the blues, and I'm just going to keep going around this blue. So I'm crossing off this space, and it connects the large group now to the white town. So now you're connected to how many white? Three? I'm connected to three. I need one more to end the game, but I do uh, get some scoring, town scoring for the mm -hmm. educational town. So it's one, two, and Only three. three. Yeah. I literally need one more, one more <laughs> white uh, die to show up you to end the game. Do. Well, I see a way to score the yellow town by taking this blue. So I'm going to take it and I'm going to place one here. Okay. Which is now a new group coming in from the south region to this yellow town. And I'm going to mark that one. Nice. It's worth a point. I'll take yeah, it. it's worth a point. All right. For, uh, to trigger the end of the game, uh, hopefully I roll a white, right? It is my turn to roll. If you want to trigger it, yeah. Unless you want I to do. try to collect I more points along Devine, the way. you're taking all the achievements. Oh, Aha. There you go. The game shall end. Hold on. Let me just see if it's actually not In your the best. best, best yeah, yeah. But I think I will end it. Oh, you're just going to end it. I think so. Really? Yeah, because I don't know what you're going to do. <laughs> yes, I'm going to do it. Um. So I'm taking one of the white dice and I'm going to go down this way. So I'm going adjacent to this white town, okay. which connects this large group to it. Okay. And gives me, me um, one, one more up here. That's it. Which means I'm going to cross off this final uh, bottom row achievement, and I will do all the things. So I get to go up on a track. One. This lets me go up on another track. Two. And I get to go up again. Another point if you want. And for that one, I think I'll go up on the white track because this lets me cross off any spot on the board. And so bandit. I, yeah, I'm going to cross off yeah. a bandit spot Makes because sense. because it's one large group, it, I, I don't see any other uh, town scoring opportunities. So that'll be where the next point. That is it. Ooh, that I is think it's going to be the close. Game. The dice remain in the tray and we're going to go into end game scoring. I have no idea how I did. You Do have you? a, uh, well, I know I did good in achievements, but yeah, you, you did. did good in uh, uniting everyone together. Yeah, but so. the thing about the uniting achievements is are they're not worth any points. It's just worth, I guess, I guess well, you could no, say no. they're worth one point each. They're worth they, points every time. Yeah, because you're going up this track. Like yeah. your tracks relative to my tracks right. are very different. But it's more of the chain reaction that it can cause. Let's find out. All right, let's okay. score this, shall we? Yep. Starting with the uh, achievements. Sure, let's move this out of the way so it makes life easier. Oh, okay. Here we go. All right. Starting with the top row achievements. Um, how many did you get? Okay, I think I got four of them. So I got uh, castle one, yeah. uh, the groups two, the river three, and then the last one, which the was bandits. the bandits, okay. uh, four. So four so times five times is five. 20. Nice. I scored I you got one. Two of them. Oh, one of them. Okay. Yeah, just this one. Oh, because nobody got up on this, uh, the white. Yeah, nobody track. made it yeah. all the way up on the 
the uh, the educational education track. track yeah. So just five points. Five points. That's not a okay. good start. Yeah. Okay, I like that. Okay, now we're going to add up uh, all of our success tracks. So for blue, I have five. That's as far as I got. Okay, uh, my blue, I got fifteen because I am uh, the blue minister. character minister. So character. I got character. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, same for me for yellow. I have 15 because I reached the top of yeah, my track. So it's just going to get a little bit worse and worse. So my yellow is four. Okay. Orange is five. Uh, my orange is one. My purple is three. Purple was a hub for me. I never actually used them to like you to didn't score. score any purple? Yeah, but I kind of branched out uh, of purple to kind of go everywhere. Well, so I don't think they would zero. appreciate that in those towns. They don't have to know. The zero. white for me is the six. Yep. So, oh, if I had gone one more, it goes six to eight. Yeah. But anyway, there's six. Uh, two for me. Okay. See, so you've made up some ground on this this aspect of the game. Well, bandits, I have five. Uh, I think you're six. one more. Yeah, I wanted one more bandit because then it's eight right there. So six. Okay. And then finally, the river, which I only reached the five Yeah, I threshold. reached the ten. Oh, so that's let's nice. see if I could read my own writing. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Okay, we did our math. Uh, since I was first player, my final score was 58. And mine was 49. So yes. there you go. There you go. were the winner of Gascadito today. I went around, you know, took out the bandits. I did the achievements the town or the land was asking me to do. Mm -hmm. And I think that was the difference there. That just goes to show achievements are very important. Yeah. I mean, they are five points. Even though I was scoring a lot of my towns, it's just one point each time. Until I can get to like a bonus threshold, then it's like an additional point. Especially in a two-player game where yeah. it's you're going to get it or me. Right. So then right. It, the gap, the swing is a little bit larger. Yes. This is spreading it out in a, maybe a three or four-player game. That's true. The swing is yeah. more impactful. Exactly. Yeah. So there you go. There you Even go, though yeah. you didn't unite as many towns. <laughs> well, in Cascadero, we united. We are that's true. a, a that's bustling true. That's true. town. There was yeah. problems of these bandits, and I said I will go handle it. You took care of them. By one, you know, <laughs> you had five bandits in the end. So good job. Nice play. Nice. Now, just in case you're curious, the opposite side of this board has the, the one. one sheet. So mm -hmm. it's kind of referring to this earlier uh, in the teach uh, as to how different the map is. As you can see, the towns are much more spaced apart. So you can do things like starting on one town that'll set you up to score the next one, if that mm -hmm. makes sense. Yep. And so our map was very different because, sorry, this is like a mess, but because uh, a lot of the towns were only one space apart. So you kind of were battling with sacrificing one town in order to score the other. Exactly, yeah. Also also in the one, uh, the white track doesn't exist and any white die rolled is also forbidden just like the black. Right. Because the white track is not there. Exactly. So this is definitely the one that you want to start with uh, mm -hmm. when learning the game. And the other two sheets do have some more advanced aspects, such as the double river that sort of runs across or in the middle of the town. Mm -hmm. And then uh, the number four sheet has a, a lot of different features and icon iconography that's actually embedded within the town. Right. So there you go. Well, there you have it. That is Cascadito. So if you haven't seen the other video that we did that is part of kind of the series of games that is currently released on Kickstarter, we have Cascadero, which is linked up here. Uh, as well as in the description down below. If you're interested in this game or this campaign, there's also a link to the campaign in the description below. And lastly, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments and Monique or I will try to get back to you as soon as we can. Thank you all so much for watching the video. We hope you enjoyed it. If you'd like to see more videos like this in the future, please consider subscribing. Thank you. Thanks. Bye.